Hi, I'm Yoni from Rideon, and today I want to explain how to use uh, our goggles. Uh, I will make a quick uh, demo. So first, this is the goggles. Um, with it's regular goggles, good quality, and it has our additional stuff, which is the batteries at the both sides and the display uh, here. So it's one eye display, which is better. And when I put it on my head, now we connect it to the computer and then you can see on the screen just below me what I see through the lens. It's transparent, so what you see here it's uh, black, but uh, of course I can see, uh, I can see through, the, through the lens. And the graphics is overlaid, uh, is overlaid uh, the real world. And I see it just about a few meters just ahead of me. So it's about three meters ahead of me uh, that I can see everything uh, printed. So uh, what do we see here? First, we can see the graphics. Uh, we call it a dashboard. We can see uh, uh, speed. You now it's zero kilometers per hour because well, I'm not moving anywhere. Uh, we can see the altitude. Uh, which is a fake altitude, we have a fake location because I'm going to show you the maps in a second. Uh, so now the altitude uh, of our, my fake location is uh, 1427 uh, meters above sea level. Uh, you can see the hour, the battery at the right uh, upper corner, at, at the left upper corner we can see a friend's radar which tells us uh, where our friends at any time. Okay, this is the dashboard. Now I'm going to show you how to operate some functions uh, of the goggles without uh, removing your gloves, of course. Uh, so first, let's see the map. When I look at the sky, I can see some uh, buttons. The buttons are stationed at the, at the, at the same place. So if I move my head, I can see it right here, and every 90 degrees I can see a set of buttons. The white cross in the middle of the display is always in the middle of the display. So when I move my head, I can bring the white cross to point one uh, specific button. If I stare for a second on the map, so the map is uh, activated, and then I can go zoom out like this, or to move it, and to go zoom in. In the beginning of the route, you you would like to to see it zoom out, and then you just want to see if I'm on the right uh, uh, on the right uh, route. So now we can see it's a five, route number five. So I know I'm in the intersection. When I look uh, left and right, everything is going uh, around me. So I know that just in front of me now should be the green, uh, the green route. The cable car will be just uh, on my left, as I can see here. Uh, let me close this. Now, simple uh, stuff to operate is the camera. I look up, the camera is open. I have video and the stills camera. I will go for the stills camera now. I press it and then I have a preview for three seconds. Okay, and it take a picture. Uh, the music is the same. It is not connected now to music, but you can see here all the buttons that they can uh, uh, operate. It's a play button, pause button, uh, the volume, plus and minus, and to go uh, one song uh, ahead or before. The uh, last thing is the uh, SOS button. Uh, it is in red. Uh, up in the sky, so if something happens, I can just move my head a little bit and send an SOS. Uh, when I send it, I will see a SOS button send. Now it's not uh, activated, so you see I'm off. Ah, SOS the message sent. It is sent to the control center. The control center should be activated, so um, there is no a uh, control center um, at, at, as a default at every ski resort in the world. Uh, but if you ski with your family and you have a group of five people, you can activate it, and then you can uh, you can 
uh, send an SOS message to somebody that watch the, the control center and can call a, a rescue. Uh, it's good for uh, some ski resort that we have a cooperation with and they uh, operate a control center for, uh, for, this, for their uh, customers. Uh, okay, so that's it. This is our goggles. I hope it's, you understand it better. Uh, next thing is for you to buy it and uh, try it by yourself.